All right, fellas, we gonna get started. See, a lot of people, they just don't realize that um, there is an actual science. It's a, a real science to this epidemic. You just got to know what it takes to make it. You know H2O is water. You know CO2 is carbon monoxide. You should know wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is gain. Now, once you figure out how to combine these three ingredients, you will be a monster of a man. Another reason I knew I was really, really flying destined to be a motherfucker is when I was born and that doctor slapped my ass I said, bitch, where's my money? <laughs> you know I didn't say that shit. But that's how I came out to shoot. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's so many things that you can learn to do with the tools I have. Call in, you guys. I want to kick it. 702-605-4721. That's the number. I got a tool, 221. And it's for getting at a broad who is with another dude. Now, you got to think about this, because I'm sure you all, all of you wanted to do this before. Maybe not what I'm going to tell you about, but you wanted to get at this bra that was with this dude. So, you, you know, you got to know how to do that stuff. How many times have you said something to a young lady who responded with something slick to say that put you off? I have a tool that addresses that. Tool 11 tells you how to deal with a semi-slick woman. Then I got... What's up, caller? What's up, Professor? This Cameo. Cameo, what's happening? Uh, nothing much, Professor. I just tapped in with you because I think you were doing the show. And it's always good to hear from you. It's always good to soak in that game. And I'm just thankful. My 2024 going good. It's going blessed. It's everything coming together for me. You know what I'm saying? I worked on those, you know what I'm saying, that little situation I got, what I told you before, what I was wanting my prayers to be answered. Right. And everything... Yeah, everything's coming together. I'm just taking it upon myself and being self-reliant and doing everything that I'm supposed to do. Hey, 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 hey. self-reliant is one thing, but what you're really doing is being proactive, bro. You're doing it before you need to do it. Oh, okay. Yeah, and that's another thing that I don't know if you're aware of it, uh... My teachers, like you, Shante, Dean, Andre Taylor, y'all really break down how the universe works. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people believe in the universe. A lot of people begin believe in God and all that. But I don't know if y'all are aware of it, but y'all actually break down how the, all that works. Hey, like, hey, you know well, see. Humans in the game. We we do know we do that, but we don't necessarily call it that. See, because oh, okay. what 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 we do is when we talking, we want to be understood. 
So, of course, mm-hmm. we say shit that we think is going to be understood. But just in case it ain't, we tell you what it what we mean and what mm-hmm. it, the value it can have for you. Now, what I'm saying is, regardless of what situation either one of us that you mentioned are in, we do that. Even if it's just, mm-hmm. even if it's just talking to the uh, the crosswalk guy, just, just letting people get across the crosswalk. No matter what, we take it upon ourselves to be instructors. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Yeah, we, yeah, and that and that's the thing because when I first got with you, it'd be six years next year. I mean, next month in March. Yeah, it'd be six years since. It'll be six years that I graduated FWU, and and since I've been kicking with y'all over these five years, five six years, I've grown so much because y'all actually helped me break down things that I couldn't figure out on my own when it comes to my manhood and you know what I'm saying all of that. Cam cameo, check this out. I I I, lo- I would love to take all that credit, but we don't. What we did do was open your eyes and we we made mm-hmm. you we made you realize that what you think is really what it is so i'm saying when you break shit down you ain't really questioning yourself as you used to you breaking it down to what you think it is and you going with it it is not that we told you how to do that we just showed you how to do that you're the one that's doing it over and over every time something come up you don't call me you don't call Tay. Mm-hmm. You don't call Andre. You don't call Dean. You don't call nobody. You handle it. And you're seeing that things are changing with the way you're handling it. So give yourself mm-hmm. that credit, man. <laughs> Thanks, Professor. It's always a good talking to you. Hey, you know that, man. You be cool, all right? Uh, you too, Professor. You know it. All right. So, uh, you guys got to see that uh, this shit don't stop. Now, you, you hear him? Did you pay attention to what he said? It's six years. It's six years since he graduated. Now, what you don't understand about life is, let's say, six years ago, I opened my eyes so I can see. Now, what I'm saying is what I see has nothing to do with my thinking. But it has a lot to do with what I think. So I'm saying six years ago, you opened your eyes and you start seeing that you sharper than you thought. You start believing that you're sharper than you thought. What do you think that will do for you, fellas? What the fuck do you think that would do for you realizing and accepting that you're sharper than you thought? What it will do, it will make you start believing in yourself. Why? Because you're sharper than you thought. Otherwise, if you don't have the reasoning behind what you're doing, like that last caller was saying, we give you the reasoning so that you can see. But if you don't have reasoning, you're not going to understand what you're doing, and therefore you're going to miss the point. So, what what I'm really trying to get you to understand is why would I make tools like these, like I just mentioned, knowing most of you would turn these situations into a fight or worse. Now, I've been in situations where a dude comes up to me with a bra he just got or met or whatever. And I guess he expects me to cap for him or something like I would do for Tate. Uh, Tate walk up with a broad. He just called me. He said, hey, what's up, bud? 
Man, it looked like you know what's up. I'm saying something slick, you know, to let him know I see he come up. But what I'm saying is, uh, ain't that a bitch? I ain't doing that unless it's somebody like Tay. But my partner Shantae and I, we used to kill those motherfuckers who thought they was cool because they they call a broad that's in the club where you know motherfucking pimps and shit be. What we would do, me and Tate both, we would kick it with them. If they was D-boys, we talk about that D. If they was some motherfucking, you know, robbers, you know what I'm saying? We'd talk about some moves a nigga could have made. But but we kick it with them and give them everything up to and including what time we wanted their bitch to call us. And those fools never knew it until we called them. And told them, hey, drug dealer, motherfucker, I got that bitch. And she will be tearing sunset up, up tonight. Now, the right tool, I'm talking about the right tool for any person. It, 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 it could be the right tool in the reasoning is to exemplify how much of a motherfucker you are. I made them tools to show you how a real man don't run from no motherfucking situations. He adapts, adopts, because he gonna handle the situation he encounter every day. For some, it's hard to accept the news that your girl has decided the grass is greener on the other side of the fence. See, motherfuckers like me know when that shit happens, if you stand on this Abu Dhabi you have, you'll get a chance to get that bra back. Now, just this past weekend, I had this bra, if you've been listening to me a long time, you're going to remember I talked about it. It was a big old tall ass bra. And uh, we fell out. I think it was like seven years ago. Anyway, I was riding and I go past this uh, weed store, which is a gang of weed stores, but this weed store, when I rode past it, made me think of this bra, this big old tall bitch. Because the last time I fucked with her, I picked her up at that uh, bus stop. But but we was riding. Now, we had been fucking around before I seen her at the bus stop. Years. But we fell out. And then I seen her at, at this bus stop and I picked her up. And before I could take her to where the fuck she was going, we fell out because I ain't listening to no bitch trying to tell me how to do shit that I normally do every day on my own. I ain't listening to it. So the bitch start doing that. And I told that bitch, girl, you the same motherfucker, you know, you don't change. Woo -woo. She gets mad, starts screaming. I'm in my car giving her a ride. And, 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 and I, she said she, she need to get out. You ain't got to tell me twice. I pulled over. Get your motherfucking tall ass out. And the bitch got out. So now, I'm riding by this spot. And it reminds me of this bitch. And I ain't heard from this bitch in seven fucking years. And I'm talking to myself about this bitch. Go home, blah, blah, blah. Do my normal shit. The next fucking day, this bitch called. I couldn't believe it. Girl, what you up to? Woo -woo. You know, and uh, we get to talking. But she had a drinking problem. And I knew that. And she's talking all kind of, oh, yeah, come on. You know, I want to put that dick in my mouth. You know, she's saying all kind of shit. Let me, it, it, was, it was good to hear, but. It, it, it just put me on guard. So when I went and picked this bitch up, 
I took her wherever to someplace. But we, you know, I, I told him, go on and hey, have at it. You know, we said, oh, I ain't like that no more. She knew what I was talking about. But she started drinking. Men and that bitch had like five. We was there 30 minutes. That bitch had to have five drinks. And, and what I'm saying is we we got in the car and the bitch started trying to tell me some shit. Get your motherfucking ass out. So I put this bitch out there. I really wanted to see this bitch because I liked her. But I ain't finna hear no shit. You know? <laughs> anyway, I put this bitch out. I drove home. We was in that bar. And we both had some drinks. So now, I was a bit say, you all right to leave? I mean, to drive? I said, yeah, girl, I'm all right to drive. And I, I st stumbled uh, going to the door. She said, give me them goddamn keys so I can drive you. I ain't had it. Bitch, what? Man, that set off a little. You know, a little argument. And these this motherfucker told me that she 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 was uh felt insecure being with me because she thought I was drunk. Bitch, I did stumble, but if you think I'm drunk and you now I'm really just talking shit when I say this. I said if you think I'm drunk and uh you feel unsafe, get your motherfucking ass out. The bitch got out. <laughs> and you know what I did? I took right on off. <laughs> He's that motherfucker think of chickens. What I'm saying the where I'm coming from. You got to understand where you coming from because motherfuckers going to try you. They're going to do something to make it uh, difficult. And you know, I, I realize, you know, the bitch ain't the same bitch that I thought she was, you know. And see, niggas that run into that shit, they get mad. But when it happens, if you stand on this game that we be kicking, you'll get a chance to get the bitch back. And that's what I'm talking about. It was seven years later. I ain't talked to this goddamn bitch. And this bitch reached out to me. Now, what make me tell this story is the bitch is incredibly fine. And she like 6'2". And she black. What's up, caller? Hello, Rosebud. Thank you for the game. Yeah. Um, my name is Josiah. My question is, um, is there um, a group chat for all the SWU members? Is there a what? A group chat. A group chat? Yeah, for the SWU members. Yeah, but it's not uh it's not on the site with the uh that the information is on. It's, it's a whole nother group. It's the Council of Extraordinary Men. Those are all graduates from Sidewalk University. You could um, join that, and you could speak uh, speak with dudes. But I don't really give that information out until you actually went through the program with me, because there's not going to be. I'm not going to be there. There, there's a whole bunch of graduates that's going to be there, and it is 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 dudes that know the value. And being able to talk to dudes that know what they know, so you gonna know okay, what right. you're gonna know what they know, and you're gonna be able to actually speak on the level that they speaking on. Otherwise, you will be understanding hella more. But you got to get through this before you get to that. Okay, you understand what I'm saying? How I, yeah. I don't recognize your voice. So what I'm saying is you haven't utilized your calls with me, have you? Uh, I've called twice, yeah. You have called me twice? Yes. Well, you need to call more, man. Right. So that we can talk about whatever it is you want to talk about with these guys 
which is cool because you still gonna need to talk to these motherfuckers. You know, later on, you heard that guy that was on the phone. He said it would been six years. You know, he in that group that that guy had called. So what I'm saying is that group is valuable. But what's more valuable is you getting this information on your own from me. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank you. All right, brother. Be cool. All right. Yeah. Uh, I'm. I'm. I'm really and truly at a point where you know you you, you have to accept a lot of shit, even if you think you're a motherfucker. You just have to accept it. I had it to where. Many of my square friends. Now listen to me. I'm very serious. Every time I, when I first was you know young in this game, every time I came around the motherfuckers that I grew up with, I just showed out, you know, and I just made them very insecure about talking shit with me because I could just talk way more shit. So. When they, I had it, you know, from talking shit, blah, blah, blah. I had it to where when they ran into a broad who seemed as if she could be turned out, they didn't suddenly become pimps. They didn't put their fucking shovels down and become a goddamn pimp. Them motherfuckers would call me. They knew they were squares and was hardly ashamed as you guys are today. Them motherfuckers when I was young and shit, them motherfuckers knew they were squares. You know, like I said before, in my day, we were real men. None of my friends was threatened by my pimp ass showing up to get this bitch that they had. Now, of course, they all adopted that slick shit to say when I was around. But if one of them ran into a potential hole, they would call me and I would come get her. They had big respect for this Abadabra being represented correctly. And I was Rolls Royce and jeweled up. I, you know, I was flying. What's up, caller? Man, I just want to give you, you know, much credit. And, you know, I just want to salute you for everything you do. And I know you had to be a hell of an individual back in the day, or still to this day, but I had a recent situation involving a white woman, and I immediately thought about you, man, like, man, for you to be able to, you know, have their mind or whatever. But anyway, long story short, how, how did you deal with, you know, a white woman being able to say whatever and then, you know, the police going with that? How do you navigate? Like I had a, let me just quick, just a quick short story. I was at Walmart in my car, chick um, smashed the door. I get out, you know, and assess the situation. It wasn't that bad, but you know, I definitely saw a dent. But she was like, "No, nah, it ain't nothing." Blah blah blah. So, so long story short, I'm trying to get her license plate. So for my insurance, she ended up calling the police. Bro, flipped the whole story. Bro, talk, bro, talking about he black. He armed all this. Like, how, how you deal with, like, dealing with white women who have that at their disposal? I'm talking about they was ready to, I got up out of there, and I was in the right. Hey, let me tell you something, bro. Listen, that's, that's where you fucked up at. You know, them white bitches, they can cause you problems. But if you go in knowing that, you already laying down avoiding the problem. Because what I'm saying is, if it's Let's say the situation you said happened and the motherfucking shit happened and she get out and say whatever you say, whatever she get out and say, whatever the fuck she say, if she ain't owning up to it right then, you supposed to be, you supposed to see that you finna have trouble, especially if the police come because this is a white bitch. They're going to try to find out how the fuck I'm wrong. So you suppose that the next thing out your mouth is to calm this bitch down and make this bitch see that she need to accept what she did. And if you can't, it listen, what, man? I was just going to say, and that's what, why I immediately thought about you and how brilliant 
your program and information you teach is because that's when you say you're always supposed to be playing. You know what I'm saying? If I would have played it into my hand, then I would have. I would, it wouldn't have got to that point. But like exactly, ABPs always be playing. You got to do that, especially in that kind of situation. Because in, right. regardless, this bitch could have wanted to get in my car and we get pulled over. Ah, shit, man. I got this bitch got to know what she can or should and should not say. This bitch got to know a whole bunch of shit in 30 seconds because that's all the time it's going to take this motherfucker to get up to my window. Period. If yeah. you don't, if you don't be like that, it ain't going to be like that. This motherfucker go come up here and be talking shit. You just say you wanted to ride, blah, 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 and we go into the store. You got to tell that, give her something to say. The bitch going to say it because the only reason she tell the truth is because she don't know what else to say. She ain't no nigga. She ain't been in no shit, so she don't think fast like that. You got to protect yourself, bro, because ain't nobody going to try to protect you. Thanks. I'm, I ain't gonna lie, man. I might, I might have to get that tatted on me, man. ABP, man. I gotta get that tatted on me. Hey, man, ABPs. Cool. You know what they stand for? Always be playing, because if you ain't playing, you gonna get played. Because everybody else is always playing. They playing for whatever the fuck they playing for, whatever they want in life. And if you ain't playing, you the only one that ain't playing. At least that's how I think. Yeah, so I just had to call in because I'm not sure you dealt with that. But like you said, you know, you you you, you successfully navigated through that, and you didn't have no issues in that scenario. So that's why I just want to call to salute you and let people know, like what you're saying is real deal. It happened. It can affect your life in real time, and you just got to know how to, you know, be on your ABP. Hey, that's what's up, so, brother. Yo, yeah, have a good show. I'm gonna keep listening. All right, you too. Uh, okay. Uh, see, I'm telling you, uh, if you represent this shit right, that you know, motherfucker will respect you, they ain't gonna hate you, they'll respect you. Now, the thing about this cat that's bringing this broad, they know because they didn't heard or experienced it firsthand. That if that bitch pay me first, I'm gonna get this motherfucker fifty bucks or something like that on the strength. But if the bitch pay me, this nigga know that he goes. I'm gonna see him later with with five hundred, six hundred, depending on how well she paid. Now I told all you motherfuckers, like me, have game. And we do not play for no day-to-day -day shit. So let me lace your square so you can see the abba dabba and what I'm doing. The game and me paying him for hooking me up with the bra is not only will he rush the next one he get to me. He gonna tell my other partners. And I'm gonna have a bunch of niggas who are cool as hell with my being a pimp trying to catch, help me catch. Plus, my pimp ass is keeping the lane clear for the rest of the real niggas. Because you know suckers run into way many more hoes or would-be hoes. They just ain't got no goddamn game. Caller, what's up? Caller, turn your shit down. Hello? Yeah, what's up? Hey, what's up, Rosebud OG? I, I've been watching your stuff for a long time, my first time calling. But but thanks for making it a way, making it simple for me to get through to you. What's up? Um, I just wanted to... I noticed that you had like a movie on your page called King and it has a couple parts out, but I didn't see where I could see the whole thing in its entirety. Like I was excited to see how that was going to go. Hey, uh, that's, that's Andre's shit, man. And uh, I was just in it and I don't know what he's doing with it. Gorgeous Dre or 
Uh, no, Nicotina. Andre Nicotina. Oh, uh, can, can you spell that for me? How can I get more information on it? Andre Nicotina, Dre Dog. Um, uh, he's a rapper, an older rapper, Nance, but so you got to go back to find him. But Nicotina, he got a he got a gang of shit out. Is he like an actor, producer, director, like a team? I just told you he got a gang of shit out. He's an older rapper. Older rapper, okay. Oh, okay. All right, I got it. He came up on Google. Okay, I'll check him out. But you did you did a good job in the parts that I saw though. I like that for you. Thanks, bro. That was a good look. All right, OG. Thanks a lot, brother. You know it. All right. Uh, the thing is, see, when you be real and, and, and motherfuckers see you real, they don't mind helping you. You see, fellas, these dudes running off at the mouth trying to talk about game ain't even up on this abadabra. That move I made to get my partners to help catch for me is off the hook. If the sucker, if, if he tried to center, he ain't doing nothing but crowding the lane with unnecessary traffic. I'm telling you, if you really want to have bad hoes or bad women, you got to be able to verbalize what bad is. You can't be vague in your descriptions because you want her to fully understand how to be bad. If you don't get her to believe there's a such thing as being bad, you'll never have a bad woman. Once you realize I'm truly an educator and I love good students, or listeners, that's when you're ready. I need you to fucking sign up for Sidewalk University. I need you to go hard. And then when it comes time for you to use the calls, I need you to call in with some questions. You can't just read this shit and just automatically get it. I'm, I'm not getting enough phone action is what I'm saying. All these motherfuckers signing up every day, motherfuckers are signing up. I should just, if that's the case, stay on the phone. But I barely get calls. I don't know why. And I don't know why you motherfuckers ain't really taking advantage of what the fuck I'm telling you. Uh, I had some questions. People, dudes was asking about women. I actually asked the questions. And I was surprised I got some answers. Some of the answers I agreed with and some not, but what they did to earn them honorable mentions. Some of them addressed each question I asked and laced their answers with their philosophy. So them is the next young bulls. And I salute them. Now, it's strange to me how you guys don't even know what a, a hoe is. I know you know she sell pussy. See, but that's that's not simple. Caller, what's up? All right, what's happening, OG? Nothing, man. Hey, what's happening? Hey, I was just gonna ask real quick. Um, when you back in your day in your prime when you was, you know, on the crowd getting at women every day, like uh did you have any particular like venues or locations that you were frequent to get at women or was it just like you just living your life and you get at them while they you know coming across your face? Let me ask you something, bro. Let's say you chose a venue, this concert. Is it going to be more women at that concert or outside in the world where you drive and live every day? Outside in the world. So why would you need a particular place to go to meet a bitch? 
Yeah, you don't really need one. Okay. You motherfucking right. What you need to do is be on your goddamn job and be at every bitch in your goddamn vicinity. At least that's what I used to do. I mean, I wasn't no nigga to chase bitches, but I'm saying wherever I went, I was making sure I was aware that there's a bitch here for me. Now, if I ran into her, cool. But if I didn't, that was cool, too. But I'm not going to be going somewhere talking about, man, I might be able to catch a bitch if I go over here. Fuck that bullshit. Yeah. I'm able to catch a motherfucking bitch at McDonald's, at the motherfucking nail salon, at the car lot, at the motherfucking grocery store. I'm able to catch a bitch. Mm. And for your information, I wasn't at bitches like a motherfucker in my prime. I'm still at bitches. So I must still <laughs> be in my prime. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Correct me. I, I respect that. You know it. We good? Oh, yeah, yeah. Appreciate it. All right, bro. Thanks. Hey, hey you guys, hit me. Ask me whatever you want to. I got the answers to it. Uh, I, When I say you don't know what a hoe is, all y'all know that, is that a hoe sell pussy. But simply selling sex don't make that woman whole. A whole is a woman that want to pay a pimp through the act of prostitution. A real stomp down hoe is truly a woman who follows instructions well. Also, quite possibly, she may be a self-starter and highly motivated, but I shall still contribute this attribute to good pimping. But as far as a hoe being real, a real hoe is one who will follow instructions and retain the information left to her own vices and or faculties. She and all other bitches would just would become just as much of a bullshitter as a square ass bitch. Holes represent real game. My belief is that a hole can uh, reflect her man. My belief is she can reflect the game that you gave her. But it takes a real pimp to represent what she believes in. He represents himself and his personal household along with being a representative of this illustrious lifestyle. The realness of being in pocket is not appreciated in this day and age. A real hoe ain't never supposed to be in communication with a pimp that she ain't paying. I believe you all should definitely have women who want to be real about whatever the fuck you represent. But, you know, out of those questions they had, my favorite question was, does a woman make her man? Of course not. But, you know, damn well, they would try to turn you into whatever the fuck they want. In reality, men make their women. Along with daily routines and other requirements, your woman can make life a lot easier for a man and vice versa. You know something? I have a problem with using the word merely when describing a stumped down woman. Real means a woman who voluntarily follow all her man's instructions. And I disagree with the idea it's a such thing as a real hope. I mean, there's no such thing as a real hope. Although you may not have ever seen one or been with one around or around motherfuckers that fuck with real women. In that case, you may not realize that you have the man that your answers indicate your woman should be in pocket at all times. Otherwise, are you being real with these answers? See, I agree that if left up to them, even the real one would fall off. If I rode down the track and saw your woman doing some foul shit, I wouldn't think she ain't shit. 
I, I would think you ain't shit, and I would confront you with what I saw. And if you didn't know, and if you didn't know it, then you check the hoe. I would know she wasn't representing you. But if you didn't care, as long as you got paid or as long as you got the pussy or whatever, then she would represent your motherfucking ass. Game wall respect game. That's why when niggas roll down on my women. And they didn't get no eye contact or no body reaction, no motherfucking indication they had action. And every time you rode by, you seen them motherfuckers. They was busy getting my motherfucking money. You wouldn't say that's a bad bitch. I want that bitch. You would say that nigga Rosewood is a motherfucker. <laughs> Caller, I see you anonymous, and I don't usually answer anonymous calls, but what's up? No, I can't fucking hear you, man. Hey, stop all that indiscreet, whatever you're trying to do, and get on the phone and talk. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm driving. I'm trying to talk to you right now. Yeah, well, cool. All right, what's up? All right, can, you, can you hear me now? Yes. All right, so I was on um, the site. I was trying to ask what's the difference between the platinum and the gold. Not the platinum, but the platinum and the diamond on your site. Oh, the platinum is the entire course with, you know, the different bells and whistles. And the diamond is the entire course with everything that's on my uh, site. So is the platinum just for the month and the diamond? If it's the same thing, it's just one to a month and one for the whole year? No, man. It ain't, the platinum is not for a month. If you sign up for platinum, you got to you gotta be willing to go through that six times, six months. The whole year uh, for the diamond is you don't have no time limit for that year. Anything you want, basically, anything you ask, I got it. All right, cool. Last question because I'm gonna have to get off the phone. Uh, so you know, the other sites you got, uh, the one with the two and stuff, all right, what's the difference between the two sites? Because I see two sites with you. I got the one of the sites have all the shit that you can order without being in um, uh, uh, SWU, and the other one is about SWU. Rosebud the uh, Rosebud the author have all all my shit, you know that yeah. that you can look through, and you could order it, and uh, a sidewalk uh, sidewalk you dot think if dot com is strictly about sidewalk you. And also the sidewalk you in the other site, the sidewalk you is the subscription version of your other site where you got to pay for the tools and stuff like this. That's what you're saying. You no, I'm saying if you want tools, you go on that Rosebud the author site and whatever tool you want, pay for it, and I'll send it to you. The other site, yeah. you got to go through SWU to even fuck with it. Damn, hey, look, I'm gonna have to get off the phone. I'm gonna call you, I'm gonna try to email you or something like that so I can uh, really get the difference before I send my phone. All right, bro, get at me. All right. Okay, so, I mean, you know, names is going on. But what I'm saying is, let's say every time you ran into that hoe man or them hoes, you saw they was busy trying to get my money. I mean, you might would say, man, that bitch be on her job. You might say some shit like that. But in reality, you would say, who, who them bitches with? Uh, that nigga Rosebud. And, and, and you would say, man, that nigga pimp. That's all that shit would say. Uh, you say that based on the fact that my hoes are in pocket. So women do reflect their man when their man is putting it down. A woman is not ever supposed to be in any kind of contact with another motherfucker unless she has intentions on fucking with him. Some people wonder why I, I give all these long ass explanations. Because I'm an educator in many ways, and I know, like the fishermen know, 
teach a motherfucker how to eat fish or teach a motherfucker how to fish. So what, what good is my having information if it is not shared in a contextual manner so you can see what I'm saying? This is how misinformation gets started. See, I always try to give an example of what my point is so that the, the, the listener or whoever I'm talking to can't have any goddamn excuses about what I'm saying. Those who will say there's no answers don't want it, don't want it to be any answers. These are the same motherfuckers who will tell you it ain't tricking if you got it. For your information, a fucking trick is any person who will spend money on sexual favors, mostly, but not always. He's always aware that the woman he's spending the money with is not telling him 100% of the truth, and 9 out of 10 of them motherfuckers don't want to know the goddamn truth. Tricks know they tricks because they do not want to spend no goddamn time or effort to hound for some goddamn pussy. They have decided it's much easier and quicker for them to find a hoe, pay her, get his nut, and get on with the rest of his day or night. Any fool who has $40,000 in their pocket that they made from investing in jet fuel or inventing a new kind of car or for being number one on the chart, if he pulls any of that money out and waves in front of women, for attention. He may not know it or he may not accept it, but he's a big old trick. Done die. Now what about hoes? I've addressed tricking. What about hoeing? There's a woman who sells pussy a hoe. What is a hoe? A real stone down hoe. Because hoes are real. Should they represent gay? Do they supposed to communicate with so-called pimps? Real pimps should have real hoes. Correct? Does a hoe make her pimp? This shit is important. If you've been paying attention, I didn't already get you the answers to all that goddamn shit. Each one of those questions are important for me to get the answer to, just like it is for you. It is just as important for your motherfucking ass to know the correct answers. These are some of the real qualifications of a bona fide hoe. Not necessarily in the order, but remember, number one, she got to have a pimp or be willing to get with a real pimp. Number two, she got to understand she is paying to be with this pimp. Number three, she got to understand she should be a reflection of this motherfucker. Number four, she got to understand and exercise all the rules her man has laid out. Number five, she knows how to catch a trick and upsell his ass. She, she, she will never let her jealousy of her man be a problem, but she will definitely be jealous. She will be open and gracious when a man bring a new woman in. She will not try to control his actions by keeping track of the money she brings in. She will jump in front of a bullet to keep her motherfucking man from being harmed in any way. And she would damn near kill herself if she goes against any of the previous statements. Women are real, and some are reflections of their men. Today, I hardly ever see a real woman because, you know, there are very few real men. Just because she's paying you don't mean she's a hoe. Just simply because she is paying you does not mean you're a motherfucking pimp. If you both are not doing it in according to the rules of the game, you're both fakers and pretenders and are responsible for fucking up the ways established for this lifestyle to continue. We don't need your motherfucking ass like that. Oh, nobody in this game needs your ass like that. Bitches would pay a lamppost if that motherfucker has some arms and hands. And the nigga would put on Bozo's clown suit to pretend. 
regardless of what you think, there are correct answers. I'm feeling myself. I just finished looking back at what a real motherfucker do. Real Fly Publishing did a lot last year, and I'm quite proud. I promised myself in 2024, you know, it was going to be one of them years for me. And, and it is. Uh, in actuality, I think it was 2022. No, no, no. 20. It might have been 2012 that I really started this motherfucking. Oh, no. 2012. Yeah. That's when I started my SW shit. The difference in making money and getting on the map is making money is cool and it helps business, but being on the map is getting noticed because of your product, which directly turns into more revenue. Long as my shit is on point. Damn, I've been on it a long time. Long as my shit is on point with the quality of, you know, looks and content, as far as what's being sold, and representation as far as how it portrays real fly publishing. I will slowly bogart my way into mainstream publishing. So look out, I'm coming. <laughs> hey, you know when they say got milk? We say got game. <laughs> Get some if you dare. <laughs> Rosebud the American film. That audio book, I'm telling you, I ain't bragging, but that shit is dope. That shit is dope. So look. The shit I'm doing and not I mean you ain't on no you, you can't get on no list to listen to it. And you can't possibly listen to it and not get big game from what I'm saying. Just as you do as we kick it, there is deeper game in my audiobook for you to get. There's Abadabra Q from volume one to volume six, and all of it is there for you to soak up. If you're pumping Kool Aid, you ain't got no real motherfucking blood. This game ain't for you. You got to be willing to hunt lions and tigers and bears with your bare hand. And you got to have the balls. You got to have balls to be, excuse me, a real man. You guys think men are soft. Because most of you are soft. I don't think you can stand up under the pressure it takes to be in the streets and claim you are a man. Don't nobody like motherfuckers like me. That's why we all won in, in the game. Because even though nobody liked us, we were still down and dirty and in their goddamn faces with this is. You ain't gonna get no motherfucking woman trying to be their motherfucking friends and act like you are so educated that you can't be in the streets of this game. That's like a ball player saying he plays his game off the court. Does he? Then why should you? I know you think I'm promoting my audio book, but you should see past that. You should see that I'm really promoting all my shit. It's all intertwined. It's not going I ain't going to lie and say I don't care if you buy my shit. I do care. But what I care about more is the fact that young men of today go along with and accept anything just so you can say you in the game. Without the Abu Dhabi Q, you'll never make it. Hey, I love it when y'all call in. Period. Let's see how to represent yourself properly to a chick or in life. In general, it makes people see. Where you come from. You fucking right, uh, King 001. Hmm. 
Man, I know what fucking polygamy mean, you stupid motherfucker, David M. Oh, oh, you weren't talking to you was talking to this dude that asked that question. All right, my bad. Man, you guys could have asked me some of this fucking shit. God, I hate it. I hate it when I get on there and see y'all had good questions and shit. What did you get out of it? Because you're talking to a motherfucker who can't answer your shit. Hey, you guys, I'm gone. I'm probably going to make another video this week, though.